This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at radioactive half-life. The half-life of a radioisotope is the time taken for half the radioactive nuclei in a sample to undergo radioactive decay. In this graph, we can see how the amount of the radioisotope carbon-14 in a sample changes over time. The time taken for 50% of the carbon-14 nuclei to decay is 5,700 years. This is the half-life of carbon-14. Next we look at an example. The half-life of the radioisotope radon-222 is 3.8 days. How much of a 100 gram sample remains after 15.2 days? The first step is to determine how many half-lives have passed. To do this, we divide the total time, which is 15.2 days, by the half-life, which is 3.8 days, which gives us four half-lives. The next step is to raise half to the power of the number of half-lives which have passed, which in this case is four. This gives us 0.0625. We then multiply this number by the mass of the sample, which is 100 grams, which gives us 6.25 grams remaining. Let's look at another example. Bismuth-212 has a half-life of one hour. How long would it take for 16 grams of this isotope to decay to two grams? The first step is to divide the remaining mass by the original mass, which gives us 0.125. Therefore, half raised to the power n, where n is the number of half-lives that have passed, equals 0.125. To solve this, we take the log of both sides and then we solve for n by dividing the log of 0.125 by the log of 0.5 and this gives us three half-lives. The half-life of bismuth-212 is one hour and three half-lives have passed, therefore the answer is three hours. In our final example, a 208 gram sample of the isotope sodium-24 decays to 13 grams in 60 hours. What is the half-life of this radioactive isotope? The first step is to divide the remaining mass by the original mass, which gives us 0.0625. Therefore, half raised to the power n, where n is the number of half-lives that have passed, equals 0.0625. Next, we take the log of both sides and we solve for n by dividing the log of 0.0625 by the log of 0.5, which gives us four half-lives. We then divide the total number of hours, which was 60, by four, which gives us a half-life of 15 hours. 